Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moonseeker of Light Guardian and today I'm doing a case of the X reading. If you guys are interested in getting this reading for yourself, this is available in my shop. Just go to the description box below and you'll get all the information you need. So let's have a look at what's going on with your ex. This could be a twin flame soulmate, boyfriend, girlfriend, doesn't matter what you label it. We're just checking in on your ex and you know what's going on with your ex and if they'll be making contact with you anytime soon so what is your current the current energy of your ex the person you're watching this for this is a general reading so please take resonates leave the rest if this is not your story it's not your story and that's okay don't try to make anything fit so we have here the king of pentacles so your ex is in that solid abundant stable energy Spe stepping into the king of pentacles energy where he is he or she is just really standing firm in the material world just being very grounded very abundant very solid we have the chariot here so they're also they're moving forward they're moving forward with their life. They're moving forward with some kind of decision, um, choice, whatever it is. They're moving forward and they're moving forward with clarity, with focus and direction. They could be moving quickly as well. And we have the Empress here. So this is the Divine Feminine here. Um, they are moving forward. They're moving. I feel like they're doing, they're with the Divine feminine or they're moving towards the divine feminine moving towards they've become this solid abundant king now and they have stepped firmly into the ground and energy they dug deep into the earth of mother gaia and are firmly planted soaking up all the knowledge and healing and wisdom earth has and now they're standing in their power, they're abundant, they're solid, they're stable. They want to wrap their arms around the Divine Feminine. If it's the Divine Masculine or vice versa, or the Divine Feminine are ready now to stand and be have their, their Divine Masculines wrap them with their arms so you guys can move forward with a direction, with clarity, with focus. There's choices being made here. And the choices have to do with the divine feminine or divine feminine energy here. This could be that uh, if you if you're our divine masculine watching this, this is that you are balancing your divine feminine and divine masculine energies here, so that you can also be in this energy of nurturing. We wanting to nurture your person, so so your ex wants to nurture um, a divine masculine. If you're divine feminine watching this. Or a divine masculine wants to nurture the divine feminine. Take it as it resonates. Anyway, so that is the current energies of your person. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Queen of Cups. They're really tapping into that nurturing, um, intuitive, gentle energy with the Queen of Cups and the Empress here. Uh, they're going into that place where they're being like very compassionate, very intuitive when it comes to, to you, the person watching this. Let's see... Um, how they feel about you what is the current energy towards you now what is the current energy of your ex towards you what is the current energy towards you we have here page of wands so they're feeling very free-spirited they're feeling very adventurous they're wanting to explore explore this passion perhaps explore where this passion will take them where this um abundance this newfound um solid energy will take them will take you take them to you perhaps they want to explore they're in an energy of exploration when it comes to you they want to explore perhaps a possibility of reconciling they want to take action towards you. They want to take quick action towards you with this Knight of Swords. They have truth, they have clarity, and now they want to rush in and tell you and do something when it comes to you. Look at this man, his mid-sprint here, going towards his, his motorcycle, 
um, that we have here, um, crow or raven uh, soaring above, they are ready to just come rushing in and take this kind of action. Look at these two cards. These two cards are all about movement, taking action, um, going towards something. And we have here the Seven of Cups. Um, what I'm getting from this is that they made the wrong choice. These cups are all about choices. They have all these choices. They can choose from whatever. And they might have done that. They might have had choices. And they took and they and they made a choice, but the choice was wrong, perhaps. Perhaps it wasn't what they wanted. I want to get some clarifiers. Excuse me while I open my drawer, my squeaky drawer. I want to get some clarifiers for these ones, for the seven of cups here. <clears throat> so what is the seven of cups about? Why is the seven of cups here? But taking action here with the um, Knight of Wands. Passionate action. Something is unseen with the moon. So why is it? Well, something's hidden. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? So what is this Seven of Cups about? Why is this Seven of Cups here? Why is this Seven of Cups here? Why is this Seven of Cups here? Because they want to get, get you a message. They want to bring you a message of love here. They want to, to tell you about their feelings and about their love for you. They, I truly feel they made a choice. They made a choice before, but it was the wrong choice. Um, the wrong choice that ended up perhaps leading them into a hermit state uh, where they went within had to go within they were single they were on their own whoever they chose instead of you they're now single perhaps um and gone into hermit mode but they want to to let you know about the choices they made the wrong choices they want to tell you about a message of love they have for you they want to tell you about this um the sneaky behavior that caused them to perhaps choose the wrong cup they want to let you know here that there has been a death and a rebirth They've gone through a transformation. They're not the same person that chose the other cup over you. They were stuck in the head at the time. They were stuck in the head at the time. Um, and they have only just now released themselves. And they want to make a new choice. They want to make a better choice. You know, how do they feel about you? This passion. They want to come towards you. They want to tell you about... Um, a love message they have for you. They want to tell you about their choices and their transformation that they've gone through. Okay, so let's have a look here. Will they be any contact in the future? Will they be contacting you anytime soon? Will be will they be contact? Will there be contact? Whoa, that's a little bit too many cards, but let's go with it. Let's go with it. The first card here is King of Cups. We have King of Cups. We have Knight of Pentacles. We have Ten of Cups. We have Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So, first of all, this, this per, your ex is like going into this energy where they are like, stepping into the king of cups energy they're starting to find balance control when it comes to their emotions they're centering themselves they're allowing their emotions to flow they're allowing the emotions to come forward in a way they haven't before i feel before they perhaps kept their emotions pushed down this king of cups yes they are emotionally mature now but that doesn't mean that they're going to come forward and tell you how they're feeling the king of cups might keep their feelings to themselves but because we have here the um knight of swords wanted to come in and tell you the truth and the clarity this king of cups is going to open up to you he's going to tell you how they feel he's going to tell you um these are my true feelings and we saw that with the um page of uh, cups wanting to tell you how they feel about you but the uh king of cups itself indicates a yes Yes, I'm coming to come forward and I'm going to 
to tell you how I feel. I'm going to communicate with you. I'm going to make contact in the near future. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving energy. Knight of Pentacles is also a yes. But Knight of Pent Pentacles in time wise is a very slow and steady moving energy. This knight takes his time. This knight takes his time when it comes to nourishing that pentacle, you know, um, polishing that pentacle, um, making sure that that pentacle is everything it needs to be in order to go and have this Ten of Cups. This Ten of Cups also indicates a yes. It's your that emotional bliss, the happy home, the family, the house, the stability, the foundation, like all those things that you you had these wishes. You called upon the universe for those wishes. You, the universe, delivered. And here you have your Ten of Cups. Your person, your ex, wants that. They And this is yes, yes, yes. So majority of people, yes, it's going to happen because three out of five, majority rules. Queen of Pentacles is also a yes. Queen of Pentacles is now a match to the king. Do we have the king of pentacles? Was it the king of wands? I think it was the king of pentacles. Yes. So now we have a match here. King and queen of pentacles. Both of these grounded, creative, nurturing, abundant, giving, balanced, grounded. I know I already said grounded, but it's important here. Grounded. Firmly feet stuck in the earth. No more of this in the clouds. No more cloudiness. No more being up in the air. No more um, I don't know, maybe vague, sneaky behavior. No more of that. Wheel of Fortune. Things are coming full circle. Harmony and another yes. So yes, 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 yes. There will be contact in the future. Now you ask yourself, when will this be? And we have a lot of different cards here. Indicates different types of times. Um, pentacles are years. Cups are months. Um, two cups and yeah, pentacles. Um, and I don't use um, major account of timings. Um, but let's pull separate cards for that and i know you guys are a big group so what i'm going to do is like one two or three so pick either number one two or three and that's going to be your timing so um number one number one we have eight of cups so you guys will be moving on in eight months eight months is your timing number two we have Ace of Wands. So Aces are Wands. Ace is a new beginning. This is a new passionate beginning. Um, wands are, are days. So in one day from watching this. Um, but I'm getting that I need to pull another card of this. You're going to have a passion new beginning. Yes, for some of you, and I think it's just a small, small, small percentage of you, a day from watching this something will happen but for the rest of you we have six six months six months is when this past love is going to have this when six months from now is when you and this person are going to have this passionate new beginning a past love um okay number three number three we have here nine of swords so in nine weeks time is when this nightmare will end for you is when this guilt this worrying will be released and you guys will make contact so number one eight months there will be contact number two either one day or six months number three there will be um contact in nine weeks Bottom of the deck for all of you guys, we have the sun. So there will be joy. There will be sunshine. There will be happiness. Okay, so lastly here, let me get some possible future energies for you and your ex. 
possible future energies for you and your ex. Here is that um, seven of uh, cups again, seven of mirrors. So this is kind of fantasy. So I feel like with this here is that this cho these choices that's there for you guys. You guys might have thought it was all a fantasy that you guys were never going to get there because of everything you guys have been through. But what I'm getting from this is that, and I'll pull more cards in this one, is that... Um, that fantasy is now a choice it's now a reality it's now within your grasp it's within your grasp to make it real you just have to choose to make it real choose to believe but tell me more about this fantasy you're waiting you're waiting for this fantasy to come true you've put those seeds out there you've put you sent your ships out now you're just waiting for your ships to come back in you're waiting for the seeds to take root to grow to bloom to bear fruit there's been a conflict there's been a conflict and struggle between your headspace and your heart space your heart space is like believe i believe in this this is gonna happen i'm gonna manifest this my heart knows it's true your heart space being like nope you're being silly that's never gonna happen you're just fantasizing it's all in your head that's not true it's never gonna happen it's been back and forth back and forth back and forth but once this settles when this conflict and this ch challenge is over change will come and when change comes you'll start believing you'll start leading from your heart so you've put things out there you put things into motion to help you get into that place where you can believe believe that this can be true where you can make this be no longer a fantasy we have the queen of thoughts here and she's all about wisdom gaining wisdom and go stepping into your your intuition this is queen of cups energy this is you trusting intuition so you guys are gonna find that wisdom from the choices you're making and again wisdom you're gonna trust your intuition i.e trust your your heart because and follow that path you might not see what's there you might things might be clouded but you're just gonna trust and know that this choice is for you there's this this love message coming back in here's the page of cups again you know there's gonna be a message of love coming and pouring out you gotta make that choice to believe in the fantasy gain wisdom from that follow that yellow brick road or whatever you want to call it towards that love message we have here the seven of thoughts this is all about trickery i'm going to pull some cards in that let's see what the last card is here yeah we have the six of thoughts here so this is six seven of swords and six of swords so moving away from sneaky behavior moving away from deception moving away from this treachery and trickery Trick, trickery moving away seeking refuge to where something is calm or seeking refuge like moving away from the from the stormy waters going to the calmer waters this could be traveling traveling to you traveling to each other there perhaps was distance between the two of you there might perhaps mountains between the two of you and this is about moving away from the drama moving away from the bullshit towards um something more harmonized towards your heart towards your soul towards your love let's have a look at this uh, seven of thoughts what's this seven of thoughts about putting things uh, things coming to full circle Th little, little, things going coming to full circle completion things um yeah ending the cycle of self victimization cycles of uh putting yourself in your, these mental prisons where you, and here's the seven of cups again, where you're perhaps looking at all these choices and allowing them to overwhelm you or, or being overwhelmed by choices, being overwhelmed by choices that are not for you, thinking these cups are you for you, but they're not. Being in your head with your pride and ego, with your doubts, limiting beliefs, fear, negative self-talk. It's, it's time to stop tricking yourself or allowing your pride and ego to trick yourself that this is you that you are not worthy that you cannot have this love and you cannot choose the right cup it's time to put that to an end it's time for that to come to completion come full circle enough is enough so guys that is today's reading that is the case of your ex there will be contact for some of you
obviously this is a person this is this is a, a general reading so for you will, will, this will not resonate for everyone this will not ring true for everyone it will not happen for everyone but take what res resonates leave the rest thank you so much for watching again if you want this reading check out the description description box all the information you need is there thank you for watching please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time bye